Hello everyone, Jen Obvious back again with a, another tutorial Unity video. This time we're going to be talking about sprites. What sprites is, is a 2D image that you can import into your project um, with animation. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to Windows and you've got to go to Package Manager. Once this loads up, you're going to need to install the 2D sprite package for your project. 2D Sprite is what they call it. So you can come up here, 2D, click on 2D Sprite, install, and you need this package in order to put these images in here. The single and the GIF animation that I'm later going to show you. Alright, so we're done installing the 2D Sprite package. To our project. Go ahead and close that out. And we've already made our sprites folder down here in our project list. So we're going to import a sprite. And I've got one already ready to go. And that's the famous dancing anime from Two Brothers World. One of my favorites in the cockpit. So we're just going to use that as an example. Oh, and a big shout out to Uni Power, creator of Two Brothers World. Uh, for pointing me in the right direction on these sprites. Really appreciate it. Alright, so you've got the sprite in here. Um, what you want to do on a, on a just a single cutout picture that you want to put in your world, uh, go ahead and bump it down to 1024. Max size, compression, apply. Uh, that way it's a little easier on the Quest users. Uh, then you want to change the texture type to Sprite 2D UI. Hit Sprite Editor. And now that we have our package installed, we're going to come up with this. Hit Apply. And it's going to give you this editing window. And you need to resize it now to get the whole picture in there. So we're going to go like that. And like that. We're just kind of trimming it up. And then you're going to hit apply. And it's going to put a little play button down here. Okay, this is just a single sprite mode. Just single. We're just doing a single right now. And then I'll show you how to do a multiple and put the animation on. Alright, so we've got this all set up. Now, you don't want to place it down on the ground, so you want to kind of look up to the sky. Click and drag it into the sky area. Don't put it on the ground. Okay, and there we go right there. That looks good. And see how it puts a cutout image in your world, and you can resize it down. Whatever you want to do with it. And it's really cool because it's also got the backside too. So that's how to do a single sprite image in Unity for your world. And it doesn't have any collider on it, so you don't have to worry about running into it. Okay, so this next part is putting a 2D image sprite. We're going to use the same sprite image. And, but we're going to put animation on it this time. It's going to be pretty interesting. So let's find that animation that we had earlier. Let's go open our web browser. Um, that is the Belfast Expense Dance Tree. So we're going to want an animated transparent GIF. Alright, so we have several to choose from here. And these are all animated GIFs. Uh, we're going to choose this one. And that's the same one that's in Two Brothers. We're going to right click. We're going to save this GIF animation. And we've already made a folder um, for it. So let's go ahead and save it in our anime. And we'll call this um, Anime Girl. Alright, so we're going to save that GIF. Close that out. The next thing we need to do is convert this GIF animation to what they call a sprite sheet. So in order to do that, 
you're going to need to open your web browser again and go to online gift tools and I'll leave the link in the description below this is a creator where you can import your GIF animation and it will automatically create a sprite sheet that you can use in your world. So we're going to click here. We're going to go to our anime folder. There's our anime GIF that we downloaded. So it's going to import that and as you see it's going to play the animation and it's going to give you a frame count. You're, you want to pay attention to this. So there's 32 frames in this animation. And this is what the sprite sheet's going to look like. So you notice we have 32 frames. What I like to do is go down here and you can edit your options. Uh, we want to, well, what I like to do is create, uh, just knock it in half, two rows. 16 columns uh, For some reason when you put one row with a lot of frames the unity doesn't like that So I like to divide it by two or you if it's an odd number you can divide it by three whatever All right, so we've got our sprite sheet set up here. You want to save as And you want to download We've Save as And this is our anime folder so we're going to save this as anime 2. Alright, so we have saved that spreadsheet, that sprite sheet. Close that out. So we are going to import our new asset, which is our sprite sheet. And you notice it doesn't look like much down here. We're going to fix that. Go up here to Sprite 2D and UI. Change the texture type. Change this from single to multiple. You can go ahead and leave this like it is. Uh, it should be okay. And just click on Sprite Editor. Apply. And it's going to look like this. So we're going to come up here to Slice. Change this from Type Automatic to Grid by Cell Count. And you notice we had a cell count of 16 and two rows. We're going to Slice. Click Apply. Go ahead and close this out and you notice it has the play button now. Go ahead and find an empty space in the sky. Drag it into your scene. And it's going to ask for an animation. So we're going to maneuver to our, um, our folder here. And we're going to go to our animations folder that we created earlier in Unity. And we'll name this uh, Anime 2. Go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and put our little character down here closer so we can see it. Size it down a little bit. And you won't see the animation in your editor until we hit play. So let's go ahead and hit play and cross our fingers. there she is she's all animated now it'll go smoother in the game it's not smoother in my editor right now and also a thing of note if you're doing a video uh, go ahead and increase the texture from 2048 to the max I think it's 8192 something like that and that way your video has more has better resolution So, yep, yeah, we got it all set in there and, um, yeah, put it in a cockpit in an airplane just like in Two Brothers. Thanks, Uni. <laughs>
And you can do this with any any uh, any GIF animation. Just use the uh, the online tool. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And I hope this solved a lot of problems for people. I know this was really cool and really fun to learn. We'll see you on the next video.